Hi Taurus, how are you doing today? Today is a 15 day. When you boil down the date, it comes to 15, which is the devil. And if you add five and one together, it equals six, which is the lover's card. So what we're doing today is we're having a look at two aspects, two cards, to look at how we can release ourselves from the devil, what's tying us to the devil, which is basically the ego. So it's not really the devil and also what love aspects we need to know so what do taurus need to know ah taurus so if you wanted your free reading at the end of this um, particular video i've put it in a free reading uh, video because it was uh, quite a few of you thank you very much um i really appreciate that it's always nice to get comments and uh, so yeah so enough free readings this week and i might do some more next week i'll announce that in further videos so if you want to find your free video and you know who i'm talking about you'll have to go to that free video right taurus what does taurus need to know taurus One for Mr. Devil and one for your luck. So, when we need to pull away from the devil, we need to do it in a manner that's quite precise. The Queen of Winter is all about being precise, forward thinking, and cutting things off when the Queen of Winter doesn't want anything more to do with the situation. So perhaps this is an attitude to take when we're looking at the devil and all our habits that we need to break. Be like the Queen of Winter with your big sword and just slice through all this negativity perhaps and the habits, overindulgence, too much wrong sex. Whether Can you have wrong sex? I don't know. <laughs> but there's aspects here where we need to cut ourselves away look at it from a higher level of love and gentleness so with the devil here you'll find that you tie yourselves perhaps to guilt shame not enough of or all the things that have um do not support us in our moving forward so i really am pleased for taurus that you've got the Queen of Winter here because she is precise, she knows what she's thinking, she'll go forward. And even if you're a bloke, tapping into that feminine side, but sometimes the Queen of Winter portrays a very hard shell. So she rules with an iron fist and she can rule really well. So Mr. Devil, you ain't got no chance with Mrs. Queen of Winter here. Mm -mm. <laughs> so look how relaxed she is as well. So you'll be able to relax in your knowledge and abilities today that you can break away from habits that are no longer necessary. So sometimes when um, certain, because the devil is associated with Capricorn, if, for instance, some of you are feeling quite vulnerable around a Capricorn, then now's the time to go, no more behaviour. You know, you still might like a person, but you don't like the way they behave or the attitude. You can say, no, I'm not accepting that behaviour or attitude. I am my own personal person and I'm responsible for myself. Okay? So what are the choices that we've got today in our love aspect? The five of winter. <laughs> What's going on with Taurus? You had it so good yesterday. <laughs> What's going on today? So um, the five of winter is like a tug of war, which is interesting because when we decide to break away from things that keep us small and we 
think, oh, are we going to choose love or are we going to choose something else? Um, do I want to be alone? That is a choice in itself. And yes, you can, especially if things are a little bit disharmony. And sometimes we have to just think, right, I'm walking away. These ideas are just too far fetched. So with the lovers, it is about twin flames and soulmates and the new relationship and things like that. But it's always down to choice because the lady is always looking up to God and all her angels and spirit guides. So if your partner or, or your thought process isn't in harmony with a love aspect, then being single like the Queen of Winter could be an option for yourself. Even if you're a bloke or a girl or whatever, it's like finding the balance between staying tied down to old views or choosing to love yourself more and that godliness does that make sense right we're going to have a look at but yeah such a change from yesterday so we'll have a look at the moonology cards in what you need to know further play fighting don't worry <laughs> right so we've got a new start is coming wow so your new start perhaps for taurians is learning to pull away literally pull away from things that are no longer serving you like that codependency like other people ruling you it is time to rule your own thought process in your own relationships and how you conduct your own ego which is your personality so if your personality is how it is which it should be then being true to yourself it is more kinder than changing to fit into somebody else's opinions does that make sense to you well, thank you so much for listening and lots of love to you and we'll see you again next time.